it can be tough to decide which product development initiatives should be approved. So the product development prioritization tool will help make your life a little bit easier if you're trying to figure out which initiatives you should move forward with. Basically, the tool starts off in the weightings tab. And the idea here is to allocate a weighting to each of the ranking criteria so that the total equals 100%. So we've broken down the ranking criteria into three major buckets, strategic fit, economic impact, and feasibility. Um, if this doesn't suit your needs, you can always edit this accordingly because it has been built in Excel. But you just have to make sure to outline the ranking criteria and to provide sound definitions. So once you've done that, you go into the product portfolio scoring tab. This is where you actually list your product development pro portfolio. So there could be new products here, upgrades to different uh, products as well, new services, etc. You list them all in this column, and then you go through an exercise of scoring each of these product development initiatives in the portfolio on a scale of one to 10 uh, against how much you agree or disagree with the ranking criteria. Once you've done that for each of the products, you go into the rankings tab where you can quickly identify which product development uh, portfolio initiative scored the highest, and you can see the breakdown of strategic fit, economic impact, and feasibility. So you can sort this accordingly, um, but the actual visual representation of this data is in the bubble matrix tab. And the bubble size is the actual economic impact. And on the X and Y axis, you have strategic fit and feasibility. So the idea here is to quickly identify which products should go into development, which products are low hanging fruit, which products are low value pro projects, and which projects you should cut. So this is a great tool for prioritizing your product development initiatives. And again, it can be customized to suit your needs.